Order in the classroom. Welcome to this lesson where we're going to be looking at the viral math problem 8 divided by 2 open brackets 2 plus 2 which caused quite the scandal really. There are two different ways to interpret this equation so you get two different answers. Only one of those interpretations is correct under the modern interpretation of maths. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out which version is right. Let's go. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's do it. So let's have a little look at this problem, okay? So to be able to correctly interpret this calculation, we need an understanding of bid mass, okay? You might also hear bid mass called PEMDAS depending on where you are in the world. So what is bid mass? Not only is it an adorable little pyramid, it's also a useful way to know how to use the operations in the correct order when doing a mathematical calculation. So what does it stand for? Well, B stands for brackets. I stands for indices. D stands for division. M stands for multiplication. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. So that's what bid mass stands for, okay? Sometimes um, brackets are called parentheses and sometimes indices are called exponents. So that's where PEMDAS comes from, okay? Now, to visualize bid mass, we can use a pyramid. And this is a useful way of thinking about bid mass because it divides the operations into three tiers. And this tiering system tells us the order in which we need to do the operations, okay? So first up, we have brackets and indices. We always do those first. Then we have division and multiplication. And then coming in third is addition and subtraction in the third tier at the bottom, okay? Now, the reason this tiering system is important is because when you are within a particular tier, you always work from the left to the right, okay? So if we were in tier two and we were doing, we had division and multiplication, we would work from the left to the right of the equation and do whatever comes first. If the division comes first, we'll do the division. If the multiplication comes first, we'll do the multiplication. And that's because division and multiplication are on the same tier. We covered that in another one of our videos if you didn't quite follow that, so make sure you check that out. Right, but most importantly, let's get back to this problem. How do we answer it? Well, the first step of the equation is pretty like unanimously like there's a consensus on how we on what the first step is and that is to start with the brackets okay so both ways of interpreting this equation will do the brackets first okay so we do that two plus two which gives us four okay so we're now at the stage where we have to calculate eight divided by two times by four okay now this is where the confusion starts okay so this is where there is a bit of ambiguity over what we do next. Now I'm going to start with the correct way to answer this calculation, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we look at our bid mass pyramid, it looks super cute. We need to do the division first, okay? Because if we read this calculation out loud, it would be 8 divided by 2 multiplied by 4. So we are on the second tier of the bid mass pyramid. That means we do the division um, first, okay? So we're doing the division before the multiplication because we work from the left to the right. So 8 divided by 2, that is just the lovely answer of 4. We then need to do 4 multiplied by 4, which is just 16. So 16 is the correct answer, okay? That is the correct way to interpret this calculation. And to do that correct interpretation, we've just used the bid mass pyramid. Now, why all the controversy? Well, it's because basically a long time ago, like maybe like a hundred years ago or so, in maths, the divide meant divide everything on the left by everything on the right, okay? So some people would interpret this equation as having to do everything on the left, so the eight divided by everything on the right, the two multiplied by four, okay? So that would give us eight divided by eight, which is just one, okay? But sorry, Han, you are old. This is an old interpretation of maths, an old interpretation of the division symbol. Using the currently accepted method, we have to do bid mass and follow that bid mass process. So we do the division and then the multiplication to get the answer of 16, okay? So this is an old method of maths. And you know what? Maths does change from time to time. So 
the way we just interpreted the equation may change, which is making me question my life choices, but hey, whatever. So math does change, and because it changes, there are different ways of interpreting calculations over time, which is quite interesting if you like maths, I guess. As interesting as math gets for me anyway. To, just to finish off, if we wanted to get the answer of one, in modern math, the only way to do that would be to add an extra pair of brackets. So we would need to put a bracket around the two and the four to make sure we do that first, okay? If we don't have a bracket around the two, two brackets four just means two multiplied by four, okay? That's how we would interpret that calculation. So to get the answer of one, we would have to put all of the two and the four in brackets, and then we would do eight divided by eight, which would give us the lovely answer of one, okay? So that's how we get to the answer of one in this viral math problem. So there we go, we've done. I hope that was a fun video, maybe it was, who knows? Uh, but thank you for watching nonetheless. Make sure you head on over to Atom9 to do more practice questions if you want to. And like and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our mathematical videos. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.